What's up everybody, Rob Ferretti here. I'm at LG Motorsports just outside of Dallas, Texas in a town called Anna. And I'm gonna give you a look into the facilities here at the soon to be LG Motorsports Park. And I, if they call it that, I'm gonna get a little by Rob Ferretti in, in the lower thing. But let me show you this place. You may know Lou Gelati from uh, racing his flamed out C5s, C6s, C7s. They even ran the Aston Martins for a minute. Um, he runs Camaros, but he's been making go-fast parts for Corvettes for as long as I remember. I think it's 30 years as of this year, but all of the cool stuff, all of the real go-fast parts that you need to make your Chevy fast, he makes here. And I'm gonna show you the facilities. Now you've been to tuning shops, you know, the guy with the garage in his backyard or this or that. This is a tuner. There's tuning shops and then there's tuners. Lou Gelati is a tuner. Let me take you for a walk around Obviously, we have the, uh, the winning LG uh, C6 here, one of the four, I think, that, that's been built. If you see the wall of, of accolades and trophies, those, you can't buy those. You actually have to earn those. Um, we'll take a, a walk through the offices here. Don't mind me. I'm with Lou. Phone center, go ahead, Jimbo. Whoop, watch the wall. Um, over here, and I actually like this room, this is where they assemble all of their coilover kits and suspension arms. Like when, when you replace the bushings and everything in the suspension arms, it's, it takes time. So they've got cores, you send in your core, they, they've got some stamped up, ready to go. This is obviously hollowed out for you already. And boom, I don't wanna, I'm gonna break something and then I'm gonna have to buy it. We'll, we'll try to avoid that. Uh, you have all the suspension components. They custom make all the coilovers. The LG coilovers, I've been running them for, I don't know, 10 years now on my car, and they make a huge difference. You lose the leaf springs on the vets, which is huge. Um, and this, is, this room here is where your coilover comes from. We could take the steps, or we could take the elevator. Actually, you know what? Let's dip into this room real quick. This is cam central here. Uh, you got the, the cams, rotors, parts. This is, uh, this is an organized parts room that you don't generally see organized parts in places. Here's the fab room. This is where they do fabrication. And we'll, we'll say that's their main parts room, but it's not. I'll show you that in a minute. This is where they do fabrication. Um, I know they're working on, uh, they're building the Nürburgring car here that they're going to bring over to set the Corvette record around Nürburgring. And part of that car is sitting right here. It is made of this, which is carbon fiber. And this is going to be the front lower under tray uh, attached to the C7 that's going to go around the Nürburgring. And I assure you, right up here, this is gonna take a beating, especially going around the carousel. It's a popular thing. If you see a lot of videos, you see a lot of cars bottoming out there. Uh, race car Corvette, definitely gonna hit it too. A fitter man may take the steps, but I'm gonna take one of two elevators in the entire town of Anna, Texas, and this is one of them. All right, up to level two. Now this is the main part storage room. Now, this is 15,000 feet above the shop below, and it's just got racks and racks and rows of everything you'll need to make your car fast. So lots of inventory, and when I say lots of inventory, you're talking, I'm not gonna put dollar figures on it, but lots of inventory. Uh, you got the, the sway bars over there, tons of wheels, Wheels are important, especially when you race. And it's nice to have a spare set of wheels, just because. Uh, over here, you got some of the exhausts. Um, and then, see, the problem is as you go on, you need, you have C5 exhaust, you need C6 exhaust, C7 exhaust. So every time, you gotta keep stockpiling more and more because you don't wanna have to keep making this stuff. Um, these are the famous LG 1 and 7 eighths inch long tube headers. Uh, these things always make big power. I don't know what car these are for, or what generation. Oh, it looks like it's a C6, uh, one and seven eighths. And then if you have like a, a basic modification to your car, you can get the one and three quarters. 
Uh, you got some front bumpers over there. This is some stock takeoff parts here. That's all pretty much useless, but you got to put it somewhere. A bunch of lower splitters, bolt-on splitters. I mean, this is a lot of parts here. Hood, springs, I mean, just, you know, just a lot of parts. Now we're going to make our way over here to the echo chamber. What do you mean by echo chamber, Rob? I don't know. Maybe when you talk in here, it echoes because this area is meant to park some 18 wheelers. And let's just walk down the steps here. This, this was a Corvette that crashed, uh, so they have it here. That was the other side. That's the fab room that we, we walked around. This car actually got stuffed during practice. You don't crash during a practice. There's no prizes for practice laps. Um, so that car is going to be taken off and the guts of it are gonna go onto that chassis, but that hasn't happened yet. Uh, and if you come this way, obviously you got some extra hoods, uh, just spare race car stuff. That's all cool stuff. That's stuff I would break up, chop up, and throw on eBay, but to each his own. Uh, here's the GT2 car. This is the Camaro GT2 with, as uh, Lou calls it, the fat man door. How do, we, uh, how do I open the fat man door? This is uh, for somebody to get in. Most race cars don't have like, they just climb in the window. But you work over here, you got the Porsche that they turboed. It was actually an NA car that they added turbos to. Uh, my Corvette, which is here getting some work done. That's a whole nother, whole nother video. Uh, this is the Corvette that won at the uh, Project Car Challenge. That is the Corvette that they were running in the half mile down in Florida. And this is the Corvette that is being built for the Nürburgring. Uh, obviously you can see the stuff going on. That's just for the cam swap. There's a heads and cam swap on this car. And with the new Z06, you literally have to take the oil pan off the motor. There's a lot of work involved. But these are all the parts that have to go into a factory Z06. This is a 2019, brand new, 40 miles on it, only one traffic ticket. And those parts go into this. Then this car breaks Nürburgring Corvette record, sub seven minutes. I'm excited to see that. Uh, back there you have a Supra, uh, Toyota Supra, 1,050 horsepower on a stock engine. Brake room is not important, but last but not least, back to where we started. The only thing we haven't covered is the dyno room. And now you have both a in-ground all-wheel drive and then a rear-wheel drive dyno. And that's it. Now, I don't know what was on the dyno. I don't know if they ran anything. Now, yesterday they had the, uh, the, the dyno up for the half mile car, because they're running it again this weekend, it made like 1300 something horsepower. So I'm excited to see what that could do with the Wanna Go Fast event in Texas. And here it is. Uh, obviously we've got the Aston Martin, we're back in the, in the showroom. Uh, the track itself is going to be built out behind the building. They're putting an entire racetrack here. There's another building right next to us. I believe there's a race team going to be acquiring that and moving in. And there you have it, a little slice of car guy heaven, especially if you're a Chevy fan, just outside of Dallas, Texas. Check out lgmotorsports.com, and I hope you appreciate the walkthrough, because that's all I could do.